The Gmail calendar event reminder is a handy little feature because it allows you to keep track of important events and it will send you an email when your event comes due. For people like me, this is very handy because I tend to forget important events like birthdays, other things like that. And I try to set reminders in my phone, but I'm always switching out phones and somehow things get deleted. So I always find it easier just to set calendar events inside my Google account. When that event comes due, I'll either get a pop-up on my screen or I'll get an email message reminder from Google. These events are pretty easy to set too, so that's another reason why I like them. To set an event, all you have to do is log into your Gmail account, and then after you do that, look up here in the black bar and click on the calendar button. The first time you view the calendar, you might have to configure it. I think Gmail will ask you for your time zone and a couple of other things. Just follow the steps on the screen and eventually you'll get to this calendar screen. The first thing I do is click on the month display view option. I find this easier to visualize everything. And now to set my event, all I have to do is pick a day and click on that day. So for now we'll choose the 27th, which will be tomorrow. And let's set a birthday reminder for Jane. So type in the name of the event and now press edit event. And one thing I do for birthdays is click on the repeat option. And now you can set it to repeat once a year. You also have other options for other types of events. You can have it set daily, every weekday, every Tuesday and Thursday, things like that. But since it's a birthday, we'll go with yearly. And once again, I'll only have it repeat once every year, but you can have it repeat once every two years, every five years if you need to. Whatever type of event it is, there's a lot of options to schedule it. But now we have a birthday, so repeat yearly, repeat once a year. And if I wanted to ever end this event, such as not receive any more reminders for this person's birthday, I can have it set itself after a certain number of occurrences or on a specific date. But I plan to remember Jane's birthday for a long time, so I'll have it set to end never. And now we have a summary at the bottom to make sure I have everything right. Annually on September 27th is what I want. Press done. And now down here I can choose the reminder type. I like to receive an email 30 minutes ahead of time. You can change that to hours, days, or weeks in advance. And I can also have a pop-up which works if you're signed into Google. When the event happens, you'll also get a pop-up on your screen. I don't like to depend on the pop-up only because I'm not always signed into Google, but I do turn it on just in case I happen to be logged in and get the little notification on my screen. After you have everything set the way you want, press the save button and the event will now show up on your calendar. There's really nothing else you have to do. It'll Once tomorrow's birthday hits, I'll get an email reminder inside my Gmail account and I'll remember to send a little birthday message to Jane. So thanks a lot for watching and make sure to visit us over at onlinefilestorage.com.